Um, good afternoon, everyone. So, what I'll be sharing with you today is how basically we as a team um, appreciates and envision spaces. So, but the best way I think to start this off is for me to kind of give you a brief introduction. So, I'm Marika Constantino. I'm a visual artist. And I work with patterns, layers, textures, and materials. And from this, this is how I evaluate spaces. I also work as a curator. And being a curator, I do further, I, I like projects that further particular advocacies. And of course, when I mount particular exhibitions, I do assess spaces as well. And quite recently, I'm, I've been also interested in a more artist-based research practice. And of course, I observe spaces through this. But all of these things come together, actually, in my work um, in 98B. But the best way, I think, for you to understand what we do as a team is also to a answer, I guess, basic questions um, for you to see what we do. So what? What is 98B? 98B is actually a artist-run initiative and in space in Manila. When? We were established in 2012. We started out in January in this uh, small apartment. Um, the founders of the space actually opened up their, their residence and studio. And this was where we held our meetings, where we conceptualized things, and we initially did our projects. In 2012, we transferred to Escolta, Manila. So, who are we? Um, we're a team of, we're a very lean team of, <clears throat> of volunteers, and it was founded by uh, Mark Salvatos and Mayumi Hirano. And right now, the team is composed of other slaves like me, um, who are all like uh, practicing full-time artists. Um, and I think the main thing about our team is that we work with um, other people from other creative disciplines or other people who share our creative vision. And so why, why, why do we do this? As you will probably see in the next few slides, sometimes these are very crazy um, activities that we do. But I think the main purpose um, th that we feel is important is that we look at our work as a way by which we can exchange different ideas. And we also are able to do all of these things through our um, work uh, in terms of like conceptualizing things outside of the white cube format. So we are basically a community, a network, a library, a kitchen, or a shop. Um, depending on what, on what the needs are. And we use these spaces through either a talk, a bazaar, an exhibition, a publication, a meal, or a simple gathering. And this, we feel, are ways by which um, we can incite conversations or provoke dialogues. So how? How do we actually do these things? The main key words for our group are the following. Collaboration, experimentation, accessibility, and community. These are the essential key words that we use in terms of how we um, think about um, projects, events, or activities in 98B. Take, for example, this project. Um, we were commissioned by the Cultural Center of the Philippines to help celebrate um, Earth Day in 2013. During that time, um, the main contention or controversy was this um, developer trying to reclaim another portion of the land in order to build another um, condominium. 
And what we did was a satirical billboard right in front of Rojas Boulevard. So it says there, um, the Sunset View Block. We even imagined like this um, developer um, trying to build this huge edifice to cover the CCP. But at the back, um, we also had this message board, which essentially said that the sun rises and sets for us all. So we wanted to instill um, that kind of mes message in this public space. And people were also enjoined to um, indicate their messages at the back. So um, people actually wrote down their message with regards to this particular controversy. Okay, another project is um, Manila Transient, and we were able to activate nine different spaces in, along Escolta, and we worked with local and international artists, um, them setting up their works and projects in different spaces, office buildings, heritage sites, facades of buildings, and even old abandoned spaces. And but the main thing, um, aside from collaborating with different um, artists or curators, we also have these integral um, programs within 98B. So, well, where, uh, where do we do these things? We consider Escolta at the heart of old downtown Manila as our playground. So, in this uh, short uh, stretch of land um, this actually ha is very historical and um, a lot of firsts happened here this area is our playground nowadays and um, a lot of firsts happened in the street like the first elevator first ice cream parlor first movie theater and um, the important Filipino architects from different decades also had a lot of buildings here. This was the, considered as the primary commercial district during the late 1800s to the early 1900s. Unfortunately, due to a convergence of different events, um, this was in a bit of disarray up until we moved there. So up to now, we are in a constant flux in trying to harness the different stakeholders of the community and trying to come up with different projects um, in relation to art that could possibly help revitalize the street. So one of the very first things that we actually launched in the street is our program called the Future Market. We invited different people, um, different artists to set up their stuff to sell um, artist-made merchandise. And we did this at the ground floor of the First United Building, where we're located. And this ground floor used to be the Berg Department Store. And Berg Department Store used to be the restance of that period. Um, so this area is like 600 square meters um, big. Um, but it has been vacant since the late 80s to early 90s, I think. But when we did the market, it, we did this for one Saturday every month. Um, a lot of people from different parts of Metro Manila came. So we, and we did this for three years. We also have the escape projects, and these are one-day exhibitions. Um, that is part of the market. So it's set in a very unintimidating setting. So these are but examples of some of the installations and film screenings that were done. And then this, after doing this for three years, last year we came up with the first biannual exhibition, which is the Bigger Escape. So we were able to invite uh, local and international artists to take part in different activities that were launched for the biannual. Um, street art, performance art, um, artists from Japan, Singapore, um, Sweden, 
the U.S. and also the Philippines were asked to come and contribute their works. We also have PAM. This is another project space of 98B and it's along the street. Um, so any passerby along Escota will be confronted with contemporary art. So um, people walking along um, Escota can see this shop front and they will see different things from sculptures, installations, performance art, and sometimes even um, photography, screenings, and parties like this. So we did the market for three years and then last year we felt that it had to evolve and we conceptualized the hub make lab. So we worked with the architects and um, here we actually were able to harness uh, more creatives to take part in, in the area. So we conceptualized this as some sort of creative startup for those artists who wanted to do something uh, more entrepreneurial. So we opened it May of 2016. And um, right now, we're able to have different shops selling different creative stuff. And also, we have Fred's Revolution, which is a bar. But they have good food, so you can still eat there and not drink. And we also have a, a cafe there called The Den. And the escape projects also evolved into something else. Um, so this now has become a two-month programming of things of artworks like from Kokedama installations and other art exhibitions and also artist talks at the hub. And then sometimes like this, um, this is a party hosted by Spanish uh, uh, nationals based in Manila and they hosted this party at the hub. And then actually that was the first time in a long, long time that Escolta saw this amount of people at night time. Recently, we celebrated, celebrated our five years in Escolta and we had this exhibition called Stalls. So five different performance artists from five different generations actually activated different parts of the hub and the first United building in presenting their works. We also have a video and moving images program called Scope. And artists um, send us their works from different parts of the country and we're also able to screen it in the parking lot or even in hallways. And we also look at spaces, uh, at the, as a, uh, we also look at the printed page as a part of a space that we can actually share our thoughts. So. Um, these are the most recent publications that um, 98B has independently published. Um, and we have still continued to work with artists. Um, this is actually a video mapping projection of project of Jose Tong and Derek Tomala at the dome of the Regina building. And this is another project at the lobby of the First United building which deals with science, technology, engineering, art, and multimedia. And people from the street can just look at art. Because as I said, we're very into accessibility. The most recent project that we have is the Escolta Block Party. The first one we did was in November of last year. And the Block Party is actually a gathering of the community. So we close the street and we are able to activate the whole street in terms of different events and um, activities. And the most important thing that should be highlighted here is also the fact that it is the community that comes together in like creating all of the different things that you can do once you visit us. So last year we launched like this huge infographics um, wherein you would be informed about the places where you can hop, shop, and learn. And then we also had the street market. We were all we closed the street, and from day till night, 
you had um, markets down the street, and also DJ sets starting late afternoon. Of course, art and installations were part of it, and music as well. And then we even had like a film screening at the museum. Yes, we do have a museum at Escolta. And then also talks that were about architecture, art, and design. And Carlos Sedran conducted a tour from El Hogar to the end of Escolta. And we even had a capoeira demonstration. So this is like a sneak peek of what happened last year. Um, people from different walks of life were actually, actually converged and um, shared the, the experience with us. I think the best way for you to also experience the street is to come on Feb 18. We're holding the next Escolta Block Party and maybe this would be a good way for you to see how spaces actually inspire creativity. Thank you.